In this part, we will talk about control of respiration. Now, respiration is controlled in two ways. One is nervous control. And the second mechanism is chemical control. Nervous control, as the name tells us, it is associated with the nervous system and this is due to some chemicals that we will see in a minute. So now, what is exactly nervous control? There are three respiratory control centers respiratory control centers and out of which two are on the medulla and one is on pons. These respiratory control centers together are known as rhythmicity centers. They are known as rhythmicity centers. All these three together. The first one is called inspiratory or inspiratory center. Inspiratory center. It is located on medulla. Located on medulla. And it is responsible for the normal inhalation. It regulates normal process. So normal inhalation is controlled by this. Now normal respiration when we talk of the cycle gets completed in 5 seconds out of which 2 seconds are for inhalation and 3, oh sorry, out, yeah, out of 5, 2 is for inhalation and 3 is for exhalation. So one respiratory cycle is completed in 5 seconds out of which Two are for inspiration or let us write two seconds is inspiration and three seconds for expiration that is exhalation. That's how this five second cycle gets completed and this is under the control of this inspiratory center which is located on medulla oblongata or we can simply write medulla. The second center is known as expiratory center. It is also located on medulla. It normally remains inactive or dormant. That means when normal center is working, normal breathing is taking place, at that time, this is dormant or inactive. Inactive or dormant during normal breathing. Then, when does it work? It gets stimulated when we are required to forcefully inhale or exhale. So these muscles, they normally active during exercise or during forceful exhalation. During forceful exhalation. If you remember the breathing process, there are inspiratory muscles when they contract the movement of the ribcage and diaphragm takes place and we are able to inhale. The same muscles when they relax, we are able to exhale. And that is why inhalation is active process and normal exhalation is a passive process. We also talked about forceful exhalation where again other muscles like internal intercostal and abdominal muscles, they contract and they are responsible for forceful exhalation. And that is controlled by this expiratory center. Then there is a third center which is known as the pneumotaxic center. Pneumo 
ataxic center. This is located on pons veruli. So location is now different. Instead of medulla, it is located on pons veruli, which is also a part of the brain. It works during exercise when the breathing rate has to be faster. And so this works during exercise. And how does it help? It increases breathing. That means rate of breathing would go up, but the breath or the amount of air which goes in gets less. So it is called breathing increases, but it gets shallower. And normally this is uh, seen in animals also like uh, in case of dogs during extreme heat when uh, during summer they normally put their tongue out and they are panting. That panting is actually the same thing where the breathing is faster but the depth is less. That means it gets shallower. So we can also compare it as panting in case of dogs. So it is the same thing and during exercise we also experience the same thing that we breathe faster but the amount of air which is going in gets shallower. So this is under the control of pneumotaxic center. Three centers and two are located on medulla and one on the pons. That is all three are associated with central nervous system. And that is why this is called nervous control. Now coming to the next control that is chemical control. This is controlled by some chemosensitive bodies which are located chemosensitive bodies and these bodies are two. One is called carotid body and other is known as aortic body. Carotid body is located at the base of carotid sinus and this is located at the base of aorta. That means the place from where this aorta is arising. And they are sensitive to both carotid as well as aortic bodies are sensitive to PO2 and PCO2. Partial pressure of oxygen and partial pressure of carbon dioxide. Now, let us take these two uh, chemicals. Here we are considering oxygen and carbon dioxide as chemicals because they are getting transported in various forms. So, the first one we will take is PCO2. Both these bodies, carotid as well as aortic bodies, they are more sensitive to partial pressure of carbon dioxide. Aortic and carotid bodies are more sensitive to partial pressure of carbon dioxide. So when PCO2 that is partial pressure of carbon dioxide increases, both these bodies they get stimulated. Stimulation of these bodies and then these bodies stimulate the muscles, expiratory muscles. And when expiratory muscles get stimulated, more of carbon dioxide gets exhaled. So they are responsible for exhaling if there is more and more accumulation of carbon dioxide. So chemical control due to two things. One is oxygen, other is carbon dioxide concentration. And as we have written, both these bodies are more sensitive to partial pressure of carbon dioxide. So if in our body carbon dioxide gets accumulated, then 
PCO2 increases, this PCO2 stimulates both these bodies because the blood when it's pumped out, if it is having still more carbon dioxide, then these bodies would get stimulated and they would stimulate, stimulated. And they would stimulate the expiratory muscles and they will contract pumping more and more of air out forcefully. So high PCO2. Second is partial pressure of oxygen that is PO2. Both these bodies they are very very less sensitive. So these chemosensitive bodies are very less sensitive to partial pressure of oxygen because oxygen anyways is required in our body if oxygen is less obviously carbon dioxide is going to be more and that is why they are more sensitive to partial pressure of carbon dioxide so our respiration is controlled in two ways one is nervous control where there are bodies or there are some special centers which are on the CNS. Two are on medulla, one is on pons. And the second is mechanism is chemical control where there are two things which are considered as responsible for this control. One is partial pressure of oxygen and other is partial pressure of carbon dioxide. But these aortic and carotid bodies, they are more sensitive to carbon dioxide concentration as compared to oxygen and they respond as soon as there is increase in carbon dioxide concentration in our blood so that all that extra carbon dioxide can be forcefully exhaled. So this is how the breathing gets